Hello everybody, this is Gene Starman34 coming to you with a new review. As you can see, this is Here Comes the Boom, starring Kevin James. Now, coming into this movie, I didn't really have much to say. Just from previews alone, I can tell it was going to be the typical James movie. A lot of hits, a lot of silliness, lots of comedy. And that's what it is, I'm not going to lie. Now, the story is even pretty simple for anyone else to follow, even kids at home. And that is that he's a teacher that pretty much gave up on teaching. He's just coasting through the whole teaching career. And that's not to say that he had no potential. It's to say that he gave up after working at it for 10 years. I mean, they gave some backstory to him that he was a teacher of the year once and that he was a college wrestler, so they give him some footholding, some platform, but not much. Now, the cast was pretty well put together. They had Salma Hayek, Henry Winkler, even Greg German, and I that was a bit of a stretch for the principal, but that's aside from it. They even got a Bass Rutten uh, for Nico, a very famous MMA fighter, to play Nico the person who, uh, in so many words, trains him in the movie. If anything, they even add a strangely comedic element to Nico at the same time. So the comedy is never lost in this movie, and there is a bit of action for those who watch and enjoy. If you love MMA, the movie will mostly, for the most part, give you that sense of satisfaction to know who's there or know what's going on and just enjoying yourself and at the same time you get wrapped up but it, it, it goes without saying that this movie is very simplistic if someone wants to watch it for anything else but a silly comedy something funny something to enjoy a feel-good movie in so many words then this is not the movie for you but if everything I described in so many words is what you're looking for, then this one is for you. I did, towards the end of it, start giggling or laughing at it. I even had a bit of, of a couple moments where I threw myself into it. I was wrapped up. I was like, okay, I'm ready to fight. And even Kevin James, during the movie, did not have any stunt doubles for the most part. It looked like... A very coincident, uh, co uh, convincing fight setup. So, I mean, the only thing I did not agree with is the fact that he could take all these blows and keep on kicking. Half the fighters in the MMA world would probably be like, this guy could not take this many blows and keep on going. Yes, there are very few that can actually prove to the pudding that this is, goes on. But at the same time... Considering the coincidence, I couldn't say much. I mean, again, it it's a, a kid's movie and an adult movie at the same time. It's not like there's anything wrong with it. It's just the pessimist in me was going crazy. But that's all aside from it. Overall, this movie was very good. It didn't necessarily scratch any particular itches. It did help me reminisce about me being a fan of MMA and laughing at the little things that were just completely silly, completely stupid. But overall, did it do what it was intended to do? And that was to convey a message, to make you laugh, to make you inspired, to make you enjoy the little things that he did in the movie, along with Salma Hayek, Henry Winkler, and all the other actors. Did they do what they set out to do, and that is to entertain? And the answer is yes. Now, is it up to par to any complex movie that you see out there? No. But sometimes you need a good movie for a good movie, or at least a silly movie and a comedy movie, just to enjoy yourself. It's a movie to sit down with a family or friends or whoever and have a good laugh, and that's what it's set out to do. In this review, I have to say, again, overall, I could recommend this as something to watch, but anything else as far as complexity, clarity, and eagerness to inspire the mind. It really didn't fill that gap, but sometimes you need a movie where you can shut your brain off and just enjoy yourself. 
And that's all I have to say about it. I hope you enjoyed this review. And yes, go see Here Comes a Boom. It's out on DVD right now. So I hope you have a nice day. This is Gene Starwin, 34, signing out.